I'm going to give an overview view now of the self-sat uh, flat satellite dish assembly. So it's pretty straightforward. Um, regardless of which model of this we have in terms of output, it's exactly the same procedure. Uh, so basically the first thing to do is to mount the elevation bracket onto the back of the dish and then we'll look at the various options we have in terms of arms and that to mount it onto a, wa uh, a wall, pole or, or tripod. So the first thing to do is just grab this bracket. So we adjust it and we leave it this way. And if we just look, there's a central um, circle here and it sits directly into this hole here. And we have three holes in the bottom, three in the top. And that's to allow for the skew angle. But in truth, there's no, no real reason to use the skew one. Uh, certainly not in the setups we've done here. It's just worked when we've just used a very simple procedure. So there's two bolts I'm going to use now. One on the top, which I'm just going to hand tighten in here. And once I'm hand tightening it here, I'm going to tighten this here. So it's very successful. Mount it there. So we have that mounted to that point. And what we're able to do now is we can adjust the angle here. So what I need to do now is how are we going to put a, po uh, a little uh, bracket onto this. So what we can do at this point in time is we can just go here. And we'll see there's three holes on this side, only one hole on this side. So I'll come use a long bolt and I'm going to slot it straight through. And what we'll find out is that this slots straight through like this and this part here is treaded already. So there's no need to come along and tighten uh, or to use a nut on the far side. We can tighten that in and at that point what we can do is, and you can just imagine the setup now, we have the dish, we have it mounted and we have a pole like this coming off it. Okay, And this is giving us um, our angle of adjustment, although we'd be using the screw of course, we'll actually just tighten this in to give a better demonstration of it. So we're going to tighten this in here now and the washers again on it. And this allows us to set the angle at which, you know, if we came along and we had a dish and we wanted to point in a certain direction, we can rotate it to that angle and then we can tighten this in to lock it in. And again, when we have an angle in terms of the elevation we need to point it to, we can adjust it and then we can use this um, locking mechanism here to lock it in. Now when we come to the final part here, how we go to mount it, well the very simplest way we could do it is to come along and use a bracket like this. And what we would do is, we would just drill holes in a wall and just mount this directly on. So this is obviously bolted on here using these bolts which will slot straight through. So I'm just going to line up one and push it straight through. And we'll see it pops out the far side there and there's a square nut on it. So we just tighten that in, we hold the bracket on. So that's one way where we, that's the end of the assembly, we mount it that way. If we come along and we'll say we had a balcony and a balcony bracket such as this, this is the br bracket with some bolts we could use to bolt, bolt onto a balcony for instance. If we had that type of a, a scenario, what we could do is we could mount this on and I'm just going to, I'm actually just going to remove this from the arm here so you can just see it a little bit neater. What we'd be doing here is if we mount this, we'd have a bracket on the far side which is gripping into it and we'd use these long bolts to, strip, to click straight through. So I'll just move this out of the way for one time. And what we're doing here is we're just mounting here and what we can do is we can slot straight through and we'll use a nut on the far side to lock in and uh, what we'll do on the, we'll use some, um, uh, a nut then to lock it in. So we're left top and bottom, we have them here and we have another, uh, another bolt over here, another top and it will just drop down directly over the bracket I showed. Now, uh, for people who are using a, um, the self sat on the go, something like the tripod here is exactly what we're mounted on. So once again, we'll be using a bracket like this, but we'll just drop it onto this tripod here. And we'll probably need to bolt uh, the tripod with the pins or something like that down the ground, just to give a little bit of stability so we can mount it and come along. So overall, we'll say the overall assembly of it, you see is quite, quite simple. Um, you know, with the basic tools here, you can do the assembly on it probably in a matter of maybe three or four minutes. And once you're used to assembling it there, it'll be even quicker. So that's it anyway, an overview of the assembly of the self-sat flat satellite uh, dish uh, available on freetv.ie.